Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to Gibbs Garden. This is located in 1987 Gibbs Drive, Ball Ground, Georgia. So from Atlanta, Georgia, this will be 1 hour and 7 minutes using I-75 and I-575. So if you're coming from Nashville, Tennessee, this will be about 3 hours and 53 minutes using US-70 or I-24. Shout out sa aking among driver na idol si Digong. We left about 9 o'clock in the morning so we grab our breakfast on our way down to Bulk Ground. Gibbs is only open from March to December so you better check out their website about the information on when they are open. So we finally arrived at Gibbs Garden. The entrance for day pass is $25 for adults. Senior citizens would be $18. Children ages 3 to 17 years old will be $10 each. Now, if you like to enjoy the whole year view of Gibbs Garden, it's better to get an annual pass because that will be unlimited entrance to their garden. That will be $60 for adults, $30 for children. Gibbs Garden is founded by Jim Gibbs. It began as a 300-acre private family estate in 1980 and had a dream of creating a world-class public garden and then for more than 30 years he designed and developed the land creating 375 acres of landscape gardens adjacent to the spring fed streams ponds and lakes surrounded by hillside covered with mature woodlands so at the entrance they're going to check for your ticket which you can buy online or at their cafe So at the Valley Gardens, we will find the garden entrance, welcome center, which also you find the Seasons gift store, the ticketing, also the Arbor Cafe, Water Lily Gardens and Monet Bridge, Grandchildren's Sculpture Garden, Japanese Garden, Zigzag Bridges, the Ferndale Gazebos, and the Daffodil Field, and many more. But since it's springtime, we cannot see everything all at the same time today. At the Welcome Center, we will also find some reminders, Bloom Calendar, which will guide us of what blooms to expect on those months. Also some plant identification apps. So my annual pass looks like this. They also sell a book that tells about the history and all about Mr. Jim Gibbs. By the way guys, Gibbs Garden has over 300 awards already. They also have a landscaping business. A reminder though for photography policy, stage photography or photo shoots is strictly prohibited whether amateur or professional. Examples included our engagement, wedding, maternity, and senior class photos as well as modeling shoots that involve posing and changing of clothing in the restrooms. Monopods and tripods are welcome as you snap photos whether strolling the gardens. Professional photography, equipment such as reflectors are not permitted. As we go along with the tours, you just have to follow the arrows which leads you to different places and also it is better that you grab a map while you are at the entrance. It's free. So far, there are 21 garden venues which features 50 acres of daffodils with millions of flowers blooming from March to mid-April. But this time, we're not going there because last year I was there and we were tired of climbing the hills. So we will go to the Japanese garden which is the most adorable of all garden features they have. And this is also the best one that we have to look forward for fall. Japanese garden garden has more than 40 acres with spring-fed ponds, islands, bridges, boulders, rocks, and 40 handcrafted Japanese lanterns. A collection of more than 1,000 Japanese maples provide brilliant colors in autumn. So if you come here for a day pass only, I would suggest that you go to the Japanese garden. You will have a blast there. Like, I can't even get enough there for the whole day. Just going around and taking pictures, oh, everything is just so perfect. 
I have tons of varieties of tulips. Now I will leave you to judge of how fun it is to visit the Japanese garden. This is one of the most awaited of people here, of course. Pati yung mga Americans, they are already into this. Cherry trees. Cherry blossoms. Ah, oh, kumangin na naman siya, oh. Can you see it? Ah, uh, para siyang nag-snow. 
Just a quick trivia though, the Kwanzan trees are gifted by the Japanese to the US as their sign of friendship. So you will only find a massive planted Kwanzan trees in few of public places like that one in Taipei Basin in Washington DC and of course in Japan during their Cherry Blossom Festival. We had been walking like um, three hours in this um, tulip field. Either way, we're not pretty. Out there, let me know a picture. By the way, my premiere is about to end, so I would like to thank you all for continued support on my channel. This way, I am growing more and more and getting more views. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate all your support. Please do not forget to leave like, comment, and share on your community. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video. Bye!